guys it's taylor and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you know whenever i upload you hey guys so we are back for another monthly empties video and this is going to be all of my june empties now before we hop into this video i am going to say outright that this is a very a very lackluster empties video compared to last month of May. I didn't really get through too many items this month, but I did still get through some. Not as much compared to last month, just because I wasn't really using a lot of things for some reason. I was just doing a bunch of other stuff and being busy to the point where I just wasn't really using a lot of my products up. But next month in July, we are back on the roll with using some products up because I have a lot of things that I have recently bought and I need to make space for it because at this point, stuff is just sitting off to the side because your girl don't got space. So we need to make some space for it or I need to either get a new shelf. As y'all know by now, I got my handy dandy trusty Bath and Body Works bag that has all of my empties in it. I would say we're not going to do this in no particular order, but kind of are. I'm going to start with the candles since I don't have too many compared to last month. And so I can just get them out of the way since they are bigger and bulkier. So the first candle that I finished off was a three wick from Bath and Body Works, of course. And this is Sugared Lemonade and Blueberry Sugar. This was such a nice sugary sweet candle. The notes on here are sweet blueberries, fresh lemon juice, and sugar crystals. And this was just such a good burn. Such a great scent for summer. I do have one more left of this one, so I might hold on to it for a little bit longer just so I can still have the scent in my collection but this was such a great burn it burned clean all the way down with relatively no sitting at all this would definitely be a repurchase for me if they bring this back out again or if I happen to find it anywhere I definitely would pick up another one to add to my collection because this was just such a nice juicy fun summery scent the candle that i finished off was the beloved pink lavender and espresso that you either love or you hate um the notes on here are rich pink lavender caramel espresso beans and smooth vanilla and i absolutely loved this candle the only con that i have to say about it is that it is terrible on the sitting don't know if you guys can really see but it did have quite a bit of sitting and the flames did get really high when burning i would say at about like the two two and a half hour mark the flames were super high the wicks wicks <laughs> the wicks were very mushroomy and it was just giving off a lot of soot so i usually would burn this in about two to two and a half hour increments just because it was just so sooty but i would repurchase this again this reminds me a lot of the lavender marshmallow candle that bath and body works came out out with well i don't know if it was the first time they came out with it but i picked it up i think last year was it and it came out with the prosecco and peaches collection that's what this one reminds me of a lot so i instantly fell in love with this one when i first got it i do have two more in my collection still so they're not going anywhere anytime soon i don't plan on burning them for a little bit probably until it gets warmer outside or not warmer cooler outside but this is such a great burn i usually like to burn these in the mornings like once i got up to get my day started before i'm working or anything like that just because it gives me such a calm zen morning type of vibe with the lavender but also the espresso with coffee scent wakes me up and gives me that push for my day so this is a 10 out of 10 candle that i would definitely repurchase again the last three wick that i finished off was toasted pineapple marshmallow and i actually think i finished this off in may and i just ended up misplacing this candle to put it in my may empties but anywho i finished this one off this was a great one nice for the spring and summertime as well the notes on this one are fresh pineapple milk chocolate toasty marshmallows and green cracker and i really really did love it as y'all can see i literally burned it down till there was nothing left but this one did incur a bit of sitting as well I do have i think three of them left in my collection so i have quite a bit of them to go and to burn but this will also be another repurchase for me because this is just such a nice 
fresh light scent for the summer the throw on this one wasn't super super powerful i would give this probably about an 8 out of 10 and now that i think about it i did not rate the throw on the other ones so pink lavender and espresso throw is a 10 out of 10 the sugar lemonade and blueberry i will also give a 10 out of 10 as well but this one gets an 8 out of 10. Okay, moving into the single wick candles that i finished off I finished all three of them so this first one is a summer melody like I always say I do keep the single wicks in the bathroom primarily because that's where they perform the best in smaller spaces but I finished off summer melody this was a great scent I really really do love this scent for the summertime I have it in body here as well and it's just such a nice juicy melon type of scent this reminds me a lot of the honeydew melon fruit so if you're somebody who likes that or likes that scent you would love summer melody i'm not a super summery scent girl but this one i like the next single whip that i finished off was my favorite ice lemon pound cake absolutely love and adore this scent always a 10 out of 10 for me we'll say the throw on this one I would give it maybe a 7 out of 10 and I also didn't like how it burned because some of Bath & Body Works single wick candles tend to burn uneven no matter how much you take care of them, trim your wicks, even if they're on a flat surface, they always tend to burn a little bit uneven. So if you guys can see a little bit of the wax that's on here, sometimes one side will burn lower than the other so I would have to burn these for at least probably about five to six hours for it to level out and evenly cool before blowing it out that's the only issue that i had with this candle and a couple of the other single wicks that has happened to me sometimes and the funny thing about this one is i got this single wick candle when it first came out i think last year when they brought these single wicks out in this packaging at least i got it then and i had that same exact issue so i returned it because literally nothing was working and then i found this for 75 percent off so <laughs> i ended up getting it again but other than that such a great scent i will continue to always repurchase this ice lemon pound cake scent every single time that it comes out and the last single wick that i finished off was champagne toast and fresh orange don't ask me where the top is because i don't know where she went but this was another nice and fresh candle for the bathroom i would always light this one after i was done cleaning up the bathroom because it gives me such a fresh like citrusy vibe because of the orange and then it gives you that bubbly because of the champagne toast so that is one i would always like this one i think i do have one more left in my collection i'm looking over here at my single wicks and i'm pretty sure i have at least one or two more of this one left but this was also another one of the blends collection candles that they came out with i think for last semi-annual sale and i was able to pick up one of those three wicks i was only able to snag one out of the entire like collection set so this was a good one okay, moving into soap set we finished off this month i only finished off two this first one was among the clouds i had this one in my bathroom and i just love this among the clouds scent i have been raving about it so frequently lately especially the perfume that i now that i've been wearing it this is just such a great scent and i wish i would have gotten at least one more of this soap if i do happen to come across it i definitely will be picking up another one of the soap because it just smells so nice sweet fluffy like marshmallow vibes that's what this gives me and this is such a great freaking scent y'all like i am in the among the clouds cult officially i i love this scent like this is a ride or die top 10 favorite scent that bath and body race has ever come out with for me and the other soap was just gingham fresh now there is a little tiny bit left in here but i did want to grab it and show it in the video because literally all it takes is one more use of the soap and it's going to be done so i was like i might as well just throw it in for this empties and not save it for july but yeah we ended up finishing off this one as well okay, i have one more bath and body works item to show you guys and then we're going to move into my non bbw empties but this was just a dream bright mini perfume that i finished off and i actually finished this off a while ago but again i misplaced it instead of putting it in my empties bag so i couldn't find it so I ended up coming across it again and it did have at least like one more score in here so I used it and now it's done. I really do love the Dream Bright scent as well so I'm super glad that I do still have this in my collection. I do have one more of the mini perfume 
and then now I have the full size perfume and I do still have the body hair if you watched my last sass video or not my last one but the one before that one I did show that I picked up the full size dream bright perfume for 75% off but again this was such a great scent 10 out of 10 and I do really like these mini perfumes from Bath & Body Works because they are very easy to just travel with and throw in your purse for like on the go days also okay y'all enough about the Bath & Body Works empties we're gonna move into some hair care empties now I finished off two hair products this month and they're both from Olaplex I finished off their number five bond maintenance conditioner Conditioner, and then their number eight bond intense moisture mask and these are literally my holy grails my staples my absolute favorites for my hair care routine i will continue to repurchase these these are a 10 out of 10 so if you are somebody that has naturally curly hair similar to mine or even if you don't definitely buy Olaplex because they are amazing i am gonna link my affiliate code down below as well as my affiliate link if you guys do want to shop because i am an affiliate with them this video obviously isn't sponsored but i just love Olaplex so much so if y'all use my code you will save you a little bit of coin i have two more things that i finished off this month the first one being just a dove soap bar these are in my empties very very frequently so i'm not even going to say nothing about it because there's going to be another one in my july and peace y'all know i love me some dove soap so i finished off this and then i did also finish off these regalico hard wax peels they're like those little wax beads that you put in your wax pot i finally finished off these these came in a kit that i ordered off of amazon that came with a wax pot some wax beads um some popsicle sticks and a couple of other things i'll link it down below if you guys are interested but i finished off these and i actually do really like these i mean i don't have anything else to compare it to as far as like wax beads or anything go but they are nice they get the job done um very smooth they're unscented i don't know what else to say about them but they are pretty decent so i'll link the entire kit down below and if i do happen to find like this specific brand of the wax beads by itself i'll link that down below as well no we're not done i actually lied because i forgot i put some of my empties right here on my little bookshelf so i wouldn't forget them so i do actually have two more bath and body works items that i finished off and these were just both wallflowers i finished the golden honeycomb scent and the gingham gorgeous scent the actual empty bottles are right here i don't have the tops to them so i'm not gonna toss them or anything until i put them in an actual trash can because i don't want the oils to leak and damage stuff because that is some powerful oil and it will seep through whatever you leave it on or it leaks on and i have three makeup empties that i finished off which i feel like makeup is kind of a little bit harder to finish off like it's not something that's very frequently in my empties if ever i don't think i've really ever featured a makeup product in my empties which is so crazy because it's just so hard to finish off makeup super quickly but anywho the three products i finished off the first one was the ofra rose makeup fixer and this bottle is actually really dirty with makeup so we're gonna ignore that but y'all i tore this thing up and down there is still a little bit of product left in here which i am going to use up because this is a good spray i didn't necessarily use this to set my face per se but i would spray this on like my concealer brush right before i would blend out my concealer underneath of my eyes just because i felt like it helped to blend everything in more and it just like made everything look so seamless and airbrush i really 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 love this so they're going to need to send me another one of these because this was amazing i do have another one from them it's I don't even know what it's called but this one was my favorite out of the trio that they sent me first off was the nars radiant creamy concealer this is their travel size and i am in the shade amand or that's the shade that i use love 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 this concealer i will continue to repurchase this concealer this is one of my favorite concealers of all time to use it's so creamy it blends out so easily it doesn't really give me much texture under my eyes it does also not crease as much now my concealer does still crease but it creases a lot less right and then the final makeup product i finished off was this nars or not <laughs> nars this nyx soft matte lip cream and this is in the shade abu dhabi i have literally probably like five of just this shade alone because this is one of my favorite lip cream shades that nyx ever has brought out y'all i know i said that was the last one but i promise 
this is the last item I keep forgetting because it's sitting over here with some other stuff but let's just finish this so the final item that I finished off for this month of June was the Dove Body Love Pre Cleanse Shower Butter. I finished off one of these before, I think probably like two months ago, and then I stopped using it and then I started using it again. These are really, really great in the shower for moisture. All right, you guys, so that is the end of my empties video officially, for surely, finally. For surely is not a word but we're gonna stick to it that is the end of this video i hope you all really liked and enjoyed it if you did please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and commenting down below and i will see you all on my next video bye guys